I'm Mason. I'm Caitlin. This is Fish, this is Chip. Welcome to our crib, let's go take a look. Being able to provide, you know, a place like this, um, it's not mine and Caitlin's forever home, but it's an awesome starter home for me and her. And uh, it's crazy that nowadays, you know, bull riding can pay for anything you want, pretty much. It's kind of a cozy ranchette type deal. It's three acres, you know, and it's uh, got everything that we need right now. We don't need some great big old 100 acre pasture. Would we like it? Crap, yeah, I can turn a bunch of cows out on that and make a bunch of money. But, uh, you know, for right now, for me and Caitlin, you know, this is, uh, this is home and this is great for us. So the first room you come into when you come through the front is the living room. This is kind of our big hangout spot. This is Chip's couch. As little as he is, he gets this big old couch to himself. And then that's Fish's couch. That was a must have is to be able to you know, house horses, house animals, and it had to be big enough for us to have all of our dogs, you know. So we have the two horses, Spur, we got Nikki, fixing to have a little baby horse. Nikki's pregnant, but then we've got Fish, Chip, Buck, and Louie. Them are our dogs. They get into everything, and uh, I wish the big dogs wasn't in the house, but Caitlin has more say than I do on that, so. And then we've got the little bottle calf, Pima, so, and the pony. And the pony, Rouge Man. We got Rouge Man out there. See, I'm forgetting things. I, we own too many things. I'm forgetting stuff. So, attached to our living area is supposed to be where all the friends and buddies stay when they come over, but they all griped at the futons too hard, so they sleep on the couch. So basically, this is my closet, because Mason filled our closet up with all of his stuff. I think this is my prized possession in the house. Some Louie in here. This is a custom pendant I had made for Mason. I actually wore this at my wedding. This is my wedding jewelry with these earrings. Got all my rings, got all my real turquoise. I probably have five pairs of boots total, including like the dressy boots. Mason probably has 20, maybe yeah. on the low side. So now we'll come into the kitchen. And I like how everything's open and all tied together. I don't like, you know, separate rooms and stuff like that, so. I think more dice gets rolled on this table than food gets ate on this table, oh, definitely. Got all my matching kitchen appliances. I love all of my pretty blue stuff. I told Caitlin when I bought my first house, I was gonna go and buy the biggest, coolest fridge that they had. The only one that was cooler than this one was the one that had a screen on it and it would talk back to you and stuff, but I wasn't paying $4,000 for a fridge. So I like the, the four doors. That's, I'm like, dang, look at my fridge. Gotta have my Taco Bell hot sauce. There ain't a better hot sauce out there than Taco Bell hot sauce. Got my expensive stuff up there. That's some good stuff up there. Up here is all the buckles and stuff that I've won. This was the first buckle I ever won right here. 2003 in the mutton busting. That was, that's it. That's uh, that was the first buckle I ever won. So crazy to see how far you've come when you look back at it. Well, you ready? Yeah, that's where the magic happens. Y'all come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I knew you were gonna say that before you even said it. All right, cut. And then this is mine and Caitlin's bedroom. Y'all come on in. Sign from our wedding. That was our main piece at the wedding. So now it gets to live in here and act like a nightlight. Yeah. So my grandpa passed away in 2011 and you never saw him and he wasn't in like full denim. Like denim jeans, denim shirt all the time. So I had a family member make me a pillow out of one of his shirts and it says, This is a shirt I used to wear whenever you hold it. Know that I am there. Love, Papa. So. This one's pretty special to me. This is my mutt, this is my rescue mutt. He's tired because he's been running the streets all morning. And then the blue healer's under the bed. Say hi to everybody. You're gonna be on TV. <laughs> and one of these days I'll quit being lazy and find something to put all these cords up, but for, for right now, I really don't care. <laughs> Over the course of being on tour for five years now, I've literally acquired 
so many neck pillows that it's insane. All my golf shoes. I've got legitimately probably got 20 pairs of golf shoes. Got my Tiger Wood limited edition. I don't really like telling people how much I paid for them because it was an absurd amount. This isn't all of my boots, but this is the boot rack that Caitlin's brother made uh, made me. So of course I've got my Ariat boots right there for riding. And then I've got my expensive handmade boots over here on this side. So I've got my Letties, got my Rio's Mercedes, my old pawpaw shoes. They, uh, I wear them almost every single day. My pawpaw shoes, they know what's up. This is a pair that uh, old Chip got a hold of the other day. So I had to retire them, RIP. Got all my old shaps um, from riding over the years. Got my turquoise ones, compliments of Cody J. Them are, uh, them have been on a lot of bulls right there, a lot of rank bulls. So got my big checks hung up in here that I've won. And that one probably means the most right there because uh, the bull that I rode in the short round over there to win that, um, He's actually, I'm the owner of him now, so that check right there means a lot. Oh, oh, walking tall, he never fails. When I get to get on him, he pays me a lot of money. <laughs> well, that's it for the inside. Let's go check out the back patio and outside. So this is the back patio and probably my favorite spot because my handy dandy hot tub that Caitlin's mom got us. And uh, I love it. I get in it all the time. When we seen this place, it had the big turnouts, had the covered stalls. Then I seen the shop and I was like, man, that could be a great hangout spot. And if I wanted to put a gym in there or turn it into an apartment or whatever. So that was a plus. This is the, this is the shop area that uh, in a month or two will be converted into an apartment. You know, that's what I do for a living. That's the money maker right there. It's got all my bull riding stuff in it. There used to be a bunch of golf mats right here, big old golf net, and I was practicing a lot, and then uh, I got tired of getting made fun of, so I put all that stuff up. In the next room is the feed slash tack room, but right now is the home of Pima. So, Pima here, he is our first bucking baby. His mama didn't really want to feed him that good. So we ended up with him, and he is three weeks old now. He's basically a giant dog, or he thinks he is at least, yeah. so. Pima comes from pain in my butt, but you know, there's an A on the end of it, so you can, you can kind of fill in, the, fill in the rest, but yeah. This is a really nice spot in here, you know, for all of our feed and stuff like that, but you can open it up and go straight outside. And this is where he gets his exercise running around. And then we got our covered stalls. We got Rouge Man in, our Shetland pony. Mason and I were headed down to a college rodeo in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And we just so happened to be spending the night with Cooper Davis and Caitlin. And Cooper's like, oh, that's Max pony. He's too big for him now. Do you want to take him home? And obviously I said yes, because look how cute he is. And he'll live out the rest of his days here. <laughs> He's cool. I'll, I'll get on him sometimes and ride him in the house. and. Well, me and the buddies have drank something other than water. Having animals, it's, it's a job. It is a full-time job. Everything has to be taken care of multiple times a day, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. This is an actual cowboy crib. There's crap everywhere. <laughs> you know, if you do have a bad weekend or you get wiped out and, you know, it just wasn't your weekend to be able to come home and be able to have a place to call home. That's kind of a burden that I had in the beginning that I don't have to worry about no more. So this is probably my favorite feature about the whole house. I honestly can say me and Caitlin more times than I can count, we'll come out here and just sit on the swing and watch people drive by and just talk, honestly. I don't know, I sound like a 60 year old man yeah, with my, with my, coffee and my porch swing, but I love it. <laughs> We're an old soul. We like to sit out here and watch cars go by, watch the neighbors walk around in their yards, because what else do you do in a teeny tiny little town? I had some help along the way, um, so that, that would be my advice. If you're a young bull rider going to buy a home and don't know how to do it, just ask questions. There's somebody that's done it before you, and 
there's steps that you can do now that they didn't know you could have done to make it easier on you. So just ask questions, ask advice, and if you want it bad enough, then you know go get it. So that would uh, that'd probably be my advice to anyone going to buy a home. Well, that's it. You've seen my house, my shop, our animals, all my golf shoes, so don't let the door hit you on the way out.